This meeting is being recorded. Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today, just a second, today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and how to tell if Bitcoin is bottomed, right? So before we get into that, uh, I want to direct you to the YouTube channel, FX Street YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content that I put out, that we put out, make sure to uh, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated, make sure to also click on this bell icon. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I put out, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangyako with a zero at the end. Right? I recently created this Telegram group where I post my uh, trades and stuff. And this is a trade that I took earlier today where I expected ApeCoin to rally up to six, roughly six dollars and things uh, are turning out pretty good. Right, so if you're interested in that sort of content, make sure to go and join my Telegram group as well. So let's get into what's happening with Bitcoin, right? Uh, it's, it's really interesting to see that Bitcoin price has uh, rallied quite a bit over the last, last day in particular. Like you can see the 30 day moving average was pretty consistent in rejecting the uptrends as you can see here one two three four five six seven there were seven retests of the 30-day moving average since bitcoin price first swept uh actually kind of flipped below it which was on the 6th of april since then every single retest of this particular moving average led to a rejection followed by a downtrend so far uh something similar happened on 17th of july as well but the next day bitcoin price uh kind of found support along the the 13-day moving average, which is the purple line that you see here. And because of the weekly opening as well, the, usually, not usually, there, there was a confluence here because of these two uh, levels here, which led to this upswing now. So, it's for, so far, Bitcoin has rallied 7%. Uh, and it looks like it is forming Monday's range since at the start of the week. Uh, Bitcoin price is forming a money's range, but that is not the question, right? Uh, we want to know if Bitcoin price has bottomed and if this particular wick that we saw here at 17, roughly 17.5k was the bottom, right? So how do how do you know if this is the bottom, right? So before we get into that, I want to, I wanna, yeah, this is the chart that I wanted to show you guys. Bitcoin's relation with the 200 week moving average is pretty interesting because Every time, right, Bitcoin price has dipped below the 200 weekly moving average, it has quickly recovered. As you can see here on 15th, on 5th Jan 2015, 17th August 2015, price dropped 30% below the moving average and then recovered quickly after uh, this were in two weeks, so it's the two, four, six, six weeks rallied higher. 2018 formed the bottom exactly on the 200 weekly moving average. And then we had the March COVID crash, Bitcoin price dropped 30% below the 200 week moving average, then rallied, and now you've spent one, two, three, four, so roughly eight weeks below the 200 week moving average, right? So 200 week moving average is currently hovering around 22.7K, depending on what chart you're on. Uh, in here, the 200 week, hold up. The 200 week moving average is roughly around 22.7K. 20, and the last time price came very close to retesting this, but kind of failed to do that. Uh, and interestingly, as you can see here, the, hold up, the 30 day, right? So the 30 day EMA and the 200 week moving average kind of had a confluence around here, which led to this rejection. Right, and now that Bitcoin price is rallied seven percent over the last twenty-four hours, it is it has come extremely close to retesting the two hundred week moving average, and it will decide if Bitcoin price is bottomed or not. Right, uh, so my thesis for all of this is if Bitcoin overcomes the two hundred week moving average, and flips it into the support floor, then there's a good chance price goes all the way up to twenty-eight k. But even before twenty-eight k, there is one level that I'm looking at which is the midpoint of this particular downswing that you see here, roughly around 25K, right? So that, that's where I'm expecting the short-term target for Bitcoin to be, like if we do manage to overcome this, right? Again, if this is some sort of a, a false breakout or a fake out, then you can expect Bitcoin price to come back down, sweep the range low at 17.7K before, you know, things kind of cool down and 
a directional bias, a directional bias establishes. Right, so for now, this is basically my plan, my trade plan, right? Based on this, I'm going to be trading altcoins, right? Assuming we get a, uh, a weekly close above the 200 week moving average at 22.7K, then I'm going to go all in on a lot of altcoins uh, on futures. And then I would probably book profits when Bitcoin price comes to 25K, right? So that's basically my plan. Uh, and I think for now, the, the upside is capped at 25K. I don't see it going way beyond this level. So... Yeah, that, that's how you know if Bitcoin price is bottomed, right? Because once we get a flip of 200 week moving average and then a flip of the 50 uh, retracement level here at 25K, that's when you know that the, the bulls are kind of back and the, the, the trend is going to continue going up, right? Uh, even if it does, right, there is, a, like, say Bitcoin price goes up probably back around 38, 40K, somewhere around here. Like once Bitcoin price does that, uh, you have to understand that the 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 markets, the financial, the traditional financial markets are basically in in shambles right now, with U.S. dollar continuously rising and almost uh, I think it did hit parity with the U.S. dollars with the euro, right? So with the worsening macroeconomic conditions, things could get much worse. Like U.S. could slip into a recession, and if like. By all accounts, a lot of investors are already saying that we are in a stagflation, right? So if the situation worsens, then hopefully by the next FOMC meeting, if the Fed raises the, the interest rates to 100 basis points, then that could probably trigger another downswing. And hopefully by then, Bitcoin price has already reached 25K. Right? So if, even if the Bitcoin price does go up, right, there is always this threat of recession uh from the traditional financial market now that could be a temporarily a bad thing but if you look at it the 2020 COVID crash is what caused the, the correlation of bitcoin with the s p 500 or basically the stock market to increase quite a bit right and uh, hopefully if we get a recession uh, a sharp decline in bitcoin price then that could probably put an end to the correlation that's been uh, going with bitcoin and the stocks so yeah that pretty much uh completes or concludes my take on how to spot Bitcoin bottoms. Uh, I've given you an outlook on what's happening in the market right now and also from a historical standpoint and how the 200 week moving average has played in a significant role in, in helping from a Bitcoin bottom. So uh, if you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Mm -hmm.